we look at these before and afters. I reached you before one on the left hand side there. Just look at your arms. Yeah, I can see your arm on the yeah. left hand side. They're sort of peeking through the gap there because your right shoulder's so far over. Just look at your hand position there. That doesn't even look natural Not around it. That looks like your right hand now. Just sort of sit. You're just taking your right hand from the side. Like shake hands to the golf club, and there's your grip. Yeah. So your hands in a much more kind of square and more natural orientation rather than turned face down. Okay. And then because of that, as you go back, you can see now your club face when you get to here. Now get back on a how your club face now is pointing kind of over there, whereas this one now is a lot flatter. So yeah. this is shorter back, admittedly, but there's kind of your left forearm, and there's your club there, whereas this one, the club's over here somewhere, and your left forearm there. So it's a massive kind of like cupping of the left wrist. That face is wide open. So when you're coming back in the golf ball now, because you were losing the golf ball out that way, you were forced to kind of swing the golf club this way. Yeah. So you're hitting it with a face that's open, which as it has more loft, reduces distance, okay? And you were coming across the golf ball like a glancing blow. Yeah. So you're like, almost like kicking a ball from the side of your foot, they're just sort of spinning it. So you see as your club kind of comes into impact here now, if we sort of just stop there just for impact, you see the club shaft now, the shaft of that golf club in effect is right of the golf ball, therefore it's coming <laughs> over oh, this yeah. way. Whereas you watch this one here now where you weren't worried about going right because the last 40 shots or 30 shots haven't gone to the left because your shaft's coming in now. Shaft's coming in there. Your shaft now into the golf ball. Good strike of the ball. Turn everything through. Follow through there on that right foot. Brilliant swing. Okay. And the ball then going down the middle of the fairway. You can see that ball there now. It's drifting four or five yards left to right yeah. in the air and it's still missing left of the white line which is the key thing yeah. so in time what we would eventually start seeing is your golf ball going more right to left or going more left should we say yeah. rather than sort of spinning off right and the same way that your path of the golf club into the golf ball as we described is going this way because your golf ball was spinning that way once your golf ball starts going this way more oh, sorry. once your golf ball starts going that way more you're going to go, well, I don't want to go left, and your path now will start going more that's that right. way because you, your brain will go, well, hang on, there's no point playing, I'm just missing everything left all yeah. the time. So getting the shoulders square will obviously help that at address, making sure you get your shoulders on the table. When that arm comes back, that right arm comes back here, we can see now the fact your shoulders are more in line, whereas on that previous one, the sort of the fact your left arm is showing there, yeah, it, just, yeah, it just looks locked and stiff and just, again, it's like unorthodox and awkward to play the game of golf, okay? I don't really see your left arm in the backswing on this right, on this left arm one till about now. Well, that club's gone back almost by your right foot. It's yeah. gone back that far. So your club's moved back a good few inches, if not almost a foot, and then your shoulders get squared off. So now your shoulders are going to be square at this point in the swing. Then when it comes to make contact with the golf ball, the shoulders being left means your direction, the path swings left, face being open, it's just a weak, high, cutty one, and you're going to be losing 20, 30% probably. Yeah. So you hit a couple of, you, you hit a couple of, sort of seven or eight times out, you've got like 140, 138, 139, yeah. and they were left. And that's the key thing. So once you start doing that, okay, when you get to the top of the backswing, and again, these are going further with effectively a short backswing. Yeah. I think at the moment now, because you're thinking about something, which don't get me wrong, is understandable, okay? Your brain's kind of worrying about that club phase and not going too far. I would say that is your play length thing at the moment. Yeah. Over time, when you practice, we'll sort of inch over a bit further and a bit further. So again, maybe in about a month or so's time, we'd expect your back to be sort of more towards this, maybe a little further. Yeah. Okay, get your left arm a little bit higher. But for the time being now, where you're comfortable, play at that length on the right hand side, and then practice it a little bit more, and just try and keep sort of just pushing it around there, yeah. bit by bit by bit. Over time, yeah. Rather do that and stand left. And oh God, jeez, I mean, the thing is, I say you, you were playing golf, or as most people tend to do, you play golf. Right, there's my target. I don't want to go over there. All right, I'll hit it over there, and you end up swinging the golf club to try and avoid trouble, yeah. rather than going. Well, where's the flag? Well, there's a flag. Do you know have a driver? Flag. Would you say hold the, hold in the same way with the driver? Exactly the same way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. The grip you want one grip. There's there's two grips. One for your long game and your short game, and then one for your putter. Putter's yeah. a bit different, slightly. Okay, we can't look at another time. But yeah, putter grip's slightly different for the most part. It's more in your palm because you want so much wrist. Yeah. But yeah, for the most part, well, every shot, the long game is going to be in the fingers. Still loose. You yeah. still want speed. Get yeah, that impact bag. Get that kind of speed. That kind of tea towel whipping sensation or swatting a fly. You're not going to be stiff and tense doing that. Yeah. Stiffness and tension and power designed to sort of move things or stop someone you're running through when you're playing rugby or whatever or hit something hard, not swing a club fast. Yeah. Tension just kills all that.
Okay? And if we're losing direction and we're getting frustrated, it just gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And it gets worse and worse and worse, doesn't it? So. Yeah. Make sense? Definitely. Good man. Very, very good. Right, have a couple more, everybody.